idol is finally making a comeback, and we have to keep on talking about them, whether it is good or bad. They have been criticized before. Actually, I would say they are one of the groups that receives the most criticism in K-pop. However, that has never stopped them. And after all the drama and scandals they have been involved with, it is time to show that, no matter the obstacles, they always survive and keep on going. They are a very strong group, one of the strongest out there. And because we have already heard a lot about the usual controversies, how about we talk about the beauty scandals they have had and how they have overcome them. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. First we have the case of the group being accused of having plastic surgery. Of course they are not the only group accused of this. Many sons have discussed several times not only whether they have done a beauty procedure or not, but how many of them have done plastic surgery and in which parts of their face. These accusations mainly go directed towards one specific member, So Young. And as expressed before in this channel, there is really nothing wrong with having some beauty procedures, as long as the idol is happy, and it was their own decision. Also, the public should not treat the topic as if it were a big secret or something taboo. Nonetheless, it will continue to be a topic of discussion, and there will continue to be articles about it, and also, Many articles and comments attacking directly the physical looks of other idols, which, unfortunately, is the case of Sayon. I would say she has been one of the most criticized idols regarding her looks. Since she was in Produce 101, the comments were directed towards saying that she did not cover the expected Korean beauty standards. There were even comments saying that she shouldn't be in the top trainees because her looks were not good enough to be an idol. And it is very brave and amazing that she did not only accept all that criticism, but she owned it and used it in her favor. When she competed in a pretty rap star, she didn't shy away from mentioning that she may be considered ugly by some, but her talent is what counts the most. She did an incredible job in both shows and people obviously got interested in her. However, the remarks about her looks never stopped. After debuting in Idol, the comments do not only state that she doesn't have the preferred beauty standards, but they also mention that she probably has done some plastic surgery or other beauty procedures. The main problem with this kind of comments or articles is that normally they are shown in a derogatory manner. There have been netizens commenting about her having a botched plastic surgery or having too many procedures that make her look totally different to how she once looked. Even when saying the idol had a glow up, there are always comments saying that it is all because of plastic surgery and other beauty procedures. The whole ugly stigma has always been present, even now but that doesn't stop her from being one of the most confident idols with incredible talent, and that is just simply admirable. And now that we are talking about criticism, we also have to talk about another member that has had hating comments regarding her physical appearance. Shua at several points had received several comments about her weight, even if she is not really that different from the rest of the members, but her body form is softer and rounder. The comments about an idol being not as thin as they are supposed to be is normal, but it shouldn't be. At least for Shua, there has been instances where she has clearly shown that she has been affected by those comments. And she's also one of the idols that has shared her diet, which in reality wasn't as strict or outrageous as the diets of other idols, but nonetheless show that she's conscious about her physique. Due to all of this, it was really interesting to see her clap back at her haters and defend herself in real life. To all the comments she just responded saying, I feel sorry for you. How can you live so pathetically? It's starting to curse someone out. For me, hitting someone and cursing them out is so tiring. How do you do it? And then ended up asking the person to leave the stream. And she hasn't only expressed her discontent once, but several times and in other platforms just like Weibo. This once again is an example of the idol members being very strong and overcoming all their obstacles. After all of this, it is time to talk about the controversies that the group has had regarding their outfits or image. First, we have one of the biggest criticisms to the group, the cultural appropriation. It was probably inevitable for the group to have this kind of controversies when the group has used a lot of different sounds, from Asian to Latin to African influences, and all of it combined with some hip-hop or R&B. It is clear that they are a very versatile group with a variety of concepts, and this has always been their forte. However, whether they should use these inspirations can sometimes become a controversial topic. The whole thing blew up the most when the group was appearing in Queendom, and for one of the performances they said that it would have an African style, and described their performance as ethnic hip. 
The way the whole thing was portrayed was disrespectful for some people, and it is understandable. Talking so lightly of a culture identity or a style will certainly bring problems. On the other hand, this is something that happens frequently in entertainment, and especially in music. Taking inspiration from other cultures and sounds is not only normal, but to some degree expected in the production of a song. And for K-pop, which performance is also a big part of the music, of course the inspiration will have to be represented there as well. I think this topic is a difficult one, because everyone is right one way or another. Cultural appropriation or appreciation, that would continue to be a dilemma. The second controversy they had was when the fans and netizens said that the group was wearing too short and revealing clothing. This happened during the Dumby Dumby promotions. In a video where the group was doing the song really, the fans said that the outfits given by the stylist were too revealing, and that they should have taken into account that in the choreography they moved their legs and hips a lot and with those clothes their safe shirts would show constantly. They also said that they could notice that the members were uncomfortable with the outfits. Sadly. This is something that happens a lot with girl groups, and maybe some expression or complaints from the fans from time to time is not so bad for this topic. At least that is my opinion. But you can tell me down below what you think about it. Should fans demand more often that female idols are given less tight and short clothes? Another controversy they had with their outfits was during their Huag promotions. Netizens, mainly Chinese netizens, claimed that using Chinese silk for the outfits took away part of the identity of the fabric and could make people think that the design and material was actually from Korea. Again, the group was accused of cultural appropriation in some way. And as I have said before, this is difficult to define on whether a claim is correct or not, because it involves the culture of a different country and people who could feel that others are taking advantage or even profiting with their own cultural identity. And in fashion, this has happened before, with big clothing brands using designs that are certainly part of a culture and country identity and almost appropriate it or use it for their own gain. In the end, you decide, is this correct or not? For the final beauty scandal, we will have to mention the series of comments and articles that appear whenever an idol changes their hair in a dramatic or interesting way. For idol, this happened when Miyeon got the hime cut, Anugi had a short haircut, some people liked it, and some others hated it. Overall, I think it's important for idols to experiment with their looks and hair, although certainly some of those will be really difficult to pull off by any other person. But if you want to check more, you can watch this video, where I talk a bit more about the hime cut and all the other haircuts that are not for everyone. For now, hope you liked the video, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more.